Well, we made all these cuts. I took out that water chute. I limbed back uh, all the branches. I limbed above that one to get those to go each way. I limbed this one out so it'll go back this way. I cut all of these on outward facing bud so that they will go outside. <coughs> now this thing has been a problem for me. I cut it back here so I could ride the lawnmower and it grew out to here. So I'm going to cut this off back here and let that branch take over. Now doesn't that look a lot better? I can walk through here just by taking that off. Another thing you want to do is get rid of two close together flower clusters. Both of these branches I'm just going to leave because they're going to have apples on them. Next year I will cut this one off right there and let that be a Haywood growing branch and I will cut this one off clean. That's really too close to have apples. And the nice thing about those, you can just pop them off and you get a clean cut. You ought to have about six to eight inches between all these. Now this branch, that's coming off a twig. It's not going to be any good, but if I can get some apples off of it, I'll cut it off later. I might just cut it off today. Uh, you got a bunch there, you got a bunch there, and you got a bunch there. These are really too close. With fresh stuff, you can pop it off with your fingers. See that? That's two bunches. You don't need it. You don't have five, five, four to six inches between, or six, six inches or better between the clusters. Think about cutting these tips off. Now this is a spur apple tree, but it will grow on spurs. They actually have a room in, uh, that can be a spur apple. But you can cut off vegetative growth, but if you cut these off before they open, you don't know whether you would have tip apples on it. Now a lot of trees just have tip apples. Now if you have tip apples and no spurs, all your apples grow on the ends of the branches, you can't tip these things to stop the growth and open up these other buds the way you want because you cut all your apples off. Now Rome generally grows on spurs and they will occasionally have some on tips. Like this little group right here, I don't want to damage that. So I will just take that one little apple off of it. It's really too close to that for that small little twig. And that one's internal, it's not going to do anything. I put my hand pruners in my pocket and they were open. So that you just cut it off close. It's not going to do anything up under the shadows. And see that's, uh, that's a little too close. See now you have one there, at least more than your hand. And another one here and some on the end. I'm going to take this one this one off because there's a lot of them growing on the end. So you just go around so they're not too crowded. Is all you have to do. You got a cluster there and a cluster there. Let's see which one's the best, healthiest cluster. I'm going to take that off. Another vertical shoot. That's all I've really taken off. And uh, I'm going to tip this one off. And when, if anything starts to grow from where I cut it off, I'm going to cut those off. Because I just want that branch to make spurs and give me apples. And I'm going to do the same for this one and this one simply because we don't have a lot of room to walk through here. And I don't want it any longer. No adage was you cut a lot and then you cut some more. Well, it could be a little thinner on this side. Uh, you're supposed to be able to throw your hat through there. Now I could throw it through that hole. But it'd be a little tougher to throw the hat through there. So, uh... I might take out just a few more. See that little branch facing me? It's inside. See that little branch right there that goes on up right there? 
I'm going to take those out and that little one coming off of that one. That'll be three more. I took the one off right there that I was just talking about. I took the one off there. And see this one here? It just needs to be cut out because it's going back toward the center of the tree. And that needs to be taken out. Going back toward the center of the tree. And that is growing toward the center of the tree. Man, a year or two from now, if you didn't cut them off, you'd have some right there two, three feet long. Why waste all energy? It's like a savings account. I'm cutting off a dime instead of a cutting off $10 later. It's all vegetative right here, but see, there is some dead there. Whenever stuff is dead, you need to remove it. Now I'm getting down to the Find a little prunings when I'm doing this. That one right there will probably be my last cut. See, it's growing back toward this way. It's going to be shaded. It's got a couple bunches of, three bunches of flowers on it and spurs. I hate to cut that out with that nice spur. Well, I looked at the same branch from over here. I've got good spurs there. I've got good spurs here and i got good spurs here. And they'll last a long time. I'm going to have to live with that. But that one right there is growing back toward the center. That little stub right there. That little stub right there just needs to be come, come off. And that one's growing toward the center. That one I just used some, lose some tip flat apples. Not all those spurs. Here's another one. It's a spur that's not producing anymore and had vegetative growth on it. Two little vertical ones and that one there is not doing me any good and it will open up the center. This branch here, which is above the branch I cut off there, is still head height. Uh, but man, I got a lot of fruit and spurs on that. I think I might just tie it up. Rather than cut this one off, I'm just going to tie it over here. See right here, if it keeps growing, it's just going to crowd that out. And then the storm branches like that would break off. I'm just going to pull it over here. Let it go out and fill this opening. As those branches fill and get larger, and where I cut them on the outside, so the buds will come this way, this branch will get branches over here, and slowly it will come down. And even if I have to pull it to the ground, I'm going to get it to here, which will improve this. But that's about it, folks. Keep saying that's about it. Whoa, trying to hold it by the screen. That's not doing any good. If I hadn't hit that branch, I would have gone through it. When he used to talk about throwing a hat through it, it was like a stocking cap, not a baseball hat. And I could throw a stocking cap through there. I could probably throw one through that hole. And then I could throw it and clear all this. But that's about all I'm going to do. It's still a little congested up here, but I don't really know how to remedy that problem unless I take this branch out at the, down here. And then have this branch come out. And I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. You just got to keep staring at your plant. Now, doesn't it look better? Now it ought to come out too. You can stand here all day and at the end of the day you wouldn't have anything left. But that's what she's going to be for this year. And then next year I'll get some laterals up there. I can maybe uh, get a few branches a little higher than these. But that's the way she's going to be. So the cuttings are those few last minute cuttings I made right there. And this little bit of stuff on the ground. But it makes a big difference. And next year I can take those that I tipped off like a half, third to a half off of them. I can take them lower without having a big problem with the roots.